All right, bonsoir on South Africa tonight. Welcome back to ENCA. 19-year-old track star Lyth Pillay is the new world junior men's 400-meter champion. The former CARES student clocked 45.28 seconds at the World Athletics Under-20 Championships in Colombia. Uh, Pillay returned to South Africa just a few days ago and joins me in studio to share the incredible feat he accomplished all the way out in Colombia. Good evening, Lyth. So great to meet you and finally have you back in the country. How are you doing? Good, thanks, and yourself? All right, firstly, I need to see if you've got the medal. Where's the medal? Where's the gold medal? Did you leave it outside? Uh, Did you leave it at no, home? I got it. I got it. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Oh, my brother. So uh, the Commonwealth Games and, um, of course, the World Athletics uh, Under-20 Championships are major events. You've always wanted to compete in the Olympic Games as well. But what's interesting about this medal is that uh, in the 36 years of the World Athletics Junior Championships, not a single South African has won uh, a gold medal in the men's 400 meter event. Surely that is special for you. How does that feel? I didn't know that until now. <laughs> uh, yeah, it makes it quite, quite unique, yeah. Wow, indeed unique. I mean, where would you place this victory on your all-time achievement list? I mean, this gold medal is quite heavy. Um, I mean, so far it's the greatest achievement I have at the moment, but it's one of the, I wanted to be as part of, part of the many that I achieve along the way as well. All right, I yeah. mean, I've watched your progress over the years, uh, SA champs, African junior champs, Olympic games, as I mentioned. And um, what is the secret though to your hard work and your high level of focus, which has earned you such a great accomplishment as this gold medal over here? Um, I'd say it's a combination of many things. I mean, for one, I really enjoy the sport. And if you really want to be good at it, you have to be obsessed, you know, obsessed about it. And yes. for me, I looked like, you know, going to the track every day for training, something I look forward to more than anything. Yes. Even on days where I know, okay, fine, coach isn't going to hold back on me at training. I still look forward to it. I still enjoy it. And I enjoy bettering myself each time as you progress. I mean, you competed in Tokyo at the Olympic Games in the 4x400 meter uh, relay. How was that experience? Did it spark your ambition to specifically focus on individual brilliance and your individual events being the 400 meters? Um, I'd say for me, I mean, it's always been my dream to go to the Olympics. I just never thought it would happen while I'm still in high school. And I mean, for me, I just say that going to Tokyo last year was just a taste of the dream. Wow. And I mean, being able to also compete with many other athletes, travel with many athletes, and also like, you know, work with other athletes such as Akiti. It was a like, quite a great experience. And I mean, it also like, you know, taught me how to cope on that high level, how to like, you know, perform while under pressure. Okay. So like, at least I can take that going forward. And I mean, next Olympics, at least, you know, I'm better prepared for it. I know what to expect. And I can also put high expectations on myself. I mean, speaking about your Olympic Games experience, we're speaking about it off air, where you met some big stars in the world of sports. Yeah. Kevin Durant, Novak Djokovic, uh, Thiago Silva. Tell me about that. How has it been a part of the Olympic Village? I mean, it was surreal. Like, you know, you're just casually going to breakfast. And then, like, while you're in line, you notice that Novak Djokovic is right in front of you. And you're like... Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I mean, seeing Kevin Durant just before the opening ceremony, and I mean, it's, it's so surreal, like, you know, it's all these, I mean, for one, like, for me, seeing the sprinters was like, was like already out of this world, you know, getting to see Wade, yes. any of the other international athletes, but I never for once thought that, you know, there are actually other disciplines here, there are other sporting codes here, and it was like quite a big shock to me, but it was also like a thrill, you know, it's like it just further intensifies the excitement. All right. I mean, from your international experience, when you look at Team South Africa and the talent that Team South Africa has in the athletics group, what uh, can we learn from our counterparts internationally? How much more work needs to be put in so that we can compete with the rest of the world and be on par with the rest of the world, the likes of Jamaica, Great Britain, the USA, England as well? I'd say, I mean, in South Africa, there definitely isn't a lack of talent. I mean, if you go to high schools or like the high school meets, you see that there are individual talents everywhere. I say the main difference is the support that the athletes receive, which, you know, certain federations such as ASA and SASCOC have been going out of their way to try and provide that, that support in order to enable more athletes to break through on the international scene. But I mean, it is quite a long process, but it starts off with the younger athletes. It starts off, you know, identifying young talent, nurturing it and, you know, trying to sustain it within our environment. I mean, off the track, um, what kind of impact has your mom had on your career? Uh, mom is mom. <laughs> I mean, I've, you know, also seeing my mom work as a single mother, you know, taking care of me on her own, making sure that I never lacked anything. And I say, for me, the most powerful point was that my mom never forced me into a sport. Wow. If I wanted to play soccer today, okay, fine, life will get you boots. Okay, now you have two left feet. Okay, try this, try that. <laughs> so she's really open-minded and she never had that pressure. She never forced me into, you know, going, to, going into athletics or any particular sport. 
And then the day when I was like, mom, you know what? I think this is a sport I'm gonna stick with. She's like, if this is what you wanna go, I'm running right behind you all the way. Wow, shout out to mom. Hey, great support yeah. off the track. Um, just in my closing question, life, uh, the 2024 calendar, ladies calendar is jam packed. I mean, we've got the African champs in that year and the big one, Paris 2024 Olympic games. But just next year in 2023, of course, the World Senior Athletics Championships are taking place. Do you have ambitions and goals to compete in that champs? And uh, how do you think you'll do? Uh, so most definitely that is you know a goal of mine and coach but of course we focusing more on my progress so as much as it would be you know fantastic to compete at those events we have a long-term goal in plan and we just like you know planning on ticking those boxes as we go along remaining consistent maintaining that gradual growth and whatever opportunity presents itself at the time we'll take it fantastic can i keep this medal uh, just just for a day i mean you're the champion i know i'm not the champ <laughs> I mean, we can play rock, paper, scissors on it. <laughs> and, and I don't think I'd be able to outrun you, right? <laughs> yeah, probably not, no. <laughs> awesome, Light. Thank you so much, man. You did Thank your you. nation proud. And congratulations once again on being the world junior champion in the men's 400 meters. Wow, Life Pele uh, here in Johannesburg just talking to us about his great feat all the way out in Colombia. He's the junior, uh, world junior men's 400 meter champion and proudly South African. That's all from the sports desk. Uh, we'll be back with South Africa tonight with Sally Bidet, top of the hour. Stay with us on ENCA.